My intentions were to watch Tina and A tonight. Not necessarily the whole episode, but just the interesting spots. And the reason was because Austin Aries was supposed to win the title this episode. And I really am looking forward to seeing that in another venue, like maybe YouTube or some other avenue we've seen things like this, but I was only able to see the last 30 minutes of TNA, which doesn't really bother me since it's okay. I know I didn't miss out on much. Anything I didn't miss out on, I'll watch in some other time and place. But I did get to see the squash match between Rockstar Spud and Samoa Joe, which was pretty cool. I like Samoa, jo Samoa Joe's finisher. That was a really good one. Really showcases his strength, his size, his athletic ability, and I really do hope that they get him out of being a jobber. They did make him seem a lot tougher right now, so that's a sign for a better future, at least. Spud really does seem to be an entertaining, cocky, chicken shit heel. Really something by the WWE could use since they try to make all these characters act like that, but it doesn't really work for them. That kind of is what they're trying to go for, just the fact that here they're supposed to be pussies with insecurities in the WWE as opposed to assholes that just don't give a fuck. They never have a new jack type here in the WWE. Not gonna happen. If it does happen, then I'm gonna cheer the living shit out of that heel. No doubt. Okay, he got squashed, some more Joe, cut a promo. It was one of those short, simple promos where he got straight to the point and he started spacing out his words with volition so you can guess what he's going to say next and it seems that much more powerful and gets the message across, most importantly. Basically, yeah, he's going to be in the main event. If anyone is going to try to s come up with a screwy finish, he they're going to have to go through him. That's it. And we actually got to see the main event, which was Sting versus Magnus, who's the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> but he's not the first world champion that's British. No, that's Nigel McGuinness, but no one seems to accept that. Even across the internet, there's still some controversy over that, but no, he really is the first British World Champion that I can think of. But oh well, TNA isn't an indie promotion. It's actually a national promotion that gets indie level money flow or cash flow no thanks to past business decisions but whatever they have national TV they have all this avenue for potential but they drive themselves to the ground the match itself was really slow in the beginning there was a no DQ match but they tried going for a normal match and it was slow, keep in mind, Sting is a 54-year-old guy who can barely do a scorpion death lock. He actually does it the same way I do it, which is terrible, but it was slow. It seemed like they were operating on slow motion. I thought I was on drugs again. Nah, maybe not that bad, but yeah. They seem to uh, move like they're rehearsing the match. And then the outside interferences came in, starting with EC3. 
and then more outside interference happens, and then people are getting knocked out of the ring. I remember one guy even sort of oversold it. I think it's maybe Christopher Daniels or some other guy. A lot of generic looking dudes. Eventually, Kurt Angle comes in and starts doing his Olympic slams and suplexes and clotheslines. Throwing everyone out and just walking back. A lot of people were coming in, screwing and walking back. And the referee kept... I think we lost like three referees in this whole thing. One of them was a dumbass because he was in the corner while Sting was about to do the Stinger Splash to Magnus who got out of the way. Ultimately, the ref was in the corner and he got the Stinger Splash. That was the second ref. I forgot what happened to the first one. I think he got duffed by someone. But, if you're a ref, you know Sting is going to be the guy who's like in this match. You know at some point he's going to go for the Stinger Splash. Get away from the corner when you're up against. This thing is like one of the guys in the match you're refing. Just maybe go to the middle rope. Or in the center, but don't go to the fucking turnbuckle. The turnbuckle is where you'll get a 250 pound man basically crashing into you. More screwy stuff happens. I think Sting finally gets his scorpion death lock on Magnus again, but Bobby Roode comes in slowly, clotheslines him in the back of the head. And then walks away. <laughs> so many screw jobs. And then finally, Earl Hebner comes in. He does his thing. He. <sighs> Actually, my bro, he said, Is that Scott Armstrong or I'm some other ref? I keep making the same mistake too, but I understand the differences between them. He came in with Dixie Carter. Did the slowest fucking pin in the world. This thing still didn't, like, get out of that. And that's just it. Magnus retains. I did leave out a lot of stuff, but that was just a stupid match. I know I'm not good at telling concise stories. When so much outside stuff is happening, they go from consecutive order to, oh, I left this out, I left this out, I backtrack like that, because I keep forgetting shit, but, no, really, that was, that was so bad it was good. Again, I'm not one of those TNA haters. I really watched the product, like, I may watch a few episodes for a season, and then I'll take a six month break and watch it again, but it's a two hour product, it's legitimately bad, yet it's the kind of bad that's awesome, which is why I don't get mad for it, TNA is so bad that it's good. The, the, the thing is it. It's so bad that it's fucking good. And these are my favorite things. Besides the classics. Things that are so terrible, they're awesome. But I do want to see that match where Austin Aries wins the title from Chris Saban. I think this show is supposed to be Genesis, which is their first pay-per-view at the start of every year, but now most of their pay-per-views are on free TV. <laughs> this is just, this is just crazy. Anyway, this is Mr. Walker 7 hope you enjoyed this video. Suck my dick. Respect the king. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just gonna... I don't even feel like doing the last thing right. Whatever.
whatever. You can all go to hell.